Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is third and final video of the Azure deployment for Salesforce. And in our, till our previous video, we have set up the pipeline file, but we were getting some errors. So in this video, we will be continuing and finally finishing off with the entire CI CD setup. So guys, uh, we were getting this error. So what I did was I opened this link and it will ask you for certain details like what is your name your email id and here you have to provide your organization name so the organization name will be this one for me i will provide this select on private and then click on submit so I did this already yesterday and today luckily I got a mail after one day that my request has been completed. So we just have to wait for this one and this is only applicable if you are uh, taking Azure for free and doing some demo projects. If uh, it is a client uh, Azure DevOps project, uh, I don't think you'd have to worry about that because it is covered in the license. So yeah, let's get back to what we were doing. I'll click on pipelines. This is our failed pipeline, which is showing. I tried it multiple times. It didn't run because of the same error. I'll click on run pipeline. And then I'll select test. I'll click on run. I'll click on this one. So now what it is doing is it is reading the Azure pipeline.yml file and it is executing all the steps. Now all the steps are also showing. So if you remember, uh, there was a step to install the Salesforce CLI. It is currently in that one. After that, uh, it will use the SOAP API and then authorize the Salesforce org, the details which you have provided in the YML file. Make sure you provide the correct details. If you provide uh, details of some other org, it will authorize some other Salesforce instance and start the deployment there. So it's very important we provide correct details. Okay, the authorization field. So it is telling me the URL which I have provided is not correct. Uh, it should be of the type domain.salesforce.com. So it should be log login.salesforce.com for me. So I think I have the file open, but I'll do it properly. So this is our test branch. We have to update the YML file of the test branch. So I'll click on show in Explorer. Here is the Azure pipeline YML file. I'll edit it. And here in the instance URL, if you remember, in the authorization step, we need to update it to this one. I'll make it to, let's go through the error. I'll copy this. So, okay, I have provided the correct URL. I'll save it. It is showing me the change as well, what I have done. We'll commit it to test. So if you remember this in the script, we have defined that as soon as there is a commit on the test branch, commit and push, it will automatically start a new deployment. So let's see what that is happening or not. I'll go back to pipelines. And we see just now, as as soon as it got pushed, a new job started. 
So we can check the status by clicking on this round thing. So this time authorize successfully passed, but deploy failed. So let's see why. It is telling unexpected argument username this one. Let's check the file. So I have fixed the YML file. I have updated this parameter. It was username, but it is asking for minus u. This is a shorter version of it. I don't know why the error still gives. So, so I just commit and push it. And let's see whether the build passes or fails. So currently it is authorizing the org and next it will start the deployment. So we can go to the org and check the deployment status for the job from here. And the deployment also ran, but it ran with errors. So we can see there are 13 errors which we got. But the thing is like our objective to set up the entire CI CD and deployment is successful. If you just fix this deployment errors, we can quickly run another round of deployment and it will successfully run. So guys, what I did was for all these errors, I have either removed the component or, uh, or I have fixed the issues by providing the dependent components. So this is also a very important task. Like when the first time the deployment is running, you never know what kind of errors will come up, right? Uh, these are all, this is where your Salesforce knowledge will come into place. You can take help from your development team and other people uh, regarding all the errors, which will be, uh, all of them will be Salesforce errors only. Our DevOps part is running just fine. And we just have to fix it, do a commit. And I'll push and a new build will start in Azure. Let's go and check that. But when it comes to the DevOps part, everything is running just fine. So even though it is not reflecting entirely, but currently we can see the deployment is in progress. So we are currently in this state. I don't know why it is not showing in the correct state. Okay, green is good. So this is the number of components. Okay, deployment is succeeded, has succeeded. And these are the entire number of components which was present in our repository, which we did, the, which we did in the initial code commit. Let's go and check the Azure job status. Okay, here it is. A little bit slow in getting the response from Salesforce, I guess. But usually it's pretty much it shows in real time. So all the components, which is part of our test branch, which is which we initially did the commit right for all these components this 2000 something components they are now successfully deployed in our salesforce org the deployment is successful and our job is also fully successful if i go to pipelines the only pipeline which we have set up it is showing us successful all previous jobs were uh, errored out because of some or the other issue which we have seen just now 
So if, even if you get some errors or some issues, you can always fix that in the YML file. Or uh, if it is some deployment related Salesforce issue, you have to update in the metadata, which is inside the force app folder. And this is pretty much it. So we have completed the setup of our DevOps process. So uh, I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any doubts, uh, please do reach out to me in comments or you can write an email. I'll provide all the links and description and uh, all the details in the description in my YouTube channel. So, okay, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.